Hello everyone, in this Kodu tutorial video I'll be showing you how to add a movie folder from a network file drive into your movie library. So by default in Kodu 17 this is what you'll see, an empty library, and it gives you the option of entering the file section or removing it from the main menu. No, we want to enter the file section. You can navigate around with the keyboard, mouse, or if you have a touch screen, then you can use that. So it's up and down selector for the keyboard or the mouse. So I'm going into files and add videos, then browse. And you can see we have quite a few different options here. So if you have a Windows network, you can use this option here, Windows network, SMB or Samba as it's also called. So yes, into workgroup and then find your device here from the list. In my case, NAS, and now I've got a few folders there. So nope, let's try for a different network type. So for Linux, you can use the NFS file share. So rather than using the NFS option here, I've actually mounted my share as a network folder under the slash MNT folder. Don't worry if you're a Windows user and that's gone completely over your head. Other different languages we use in the various operating systems. So on my system, I could navigate down to the slash MNT folder and pick up my network share from there. And the final option I'll show you is with an SSH folder because that is not in the list. So you go to add network location at the bottom of the list and then choose a the protocol. Just press enter, choose a different option on the list, which next one down is secure shell SSH SFTP. So the server address. I've never had any luck getting the fully qualified domain name working here. I don't know why I'm using an actual DNS server on my network and it still doesn't pick it up. So I type in the IP address instead. So OK. The remote path. The remote path on the server which you are connecting to. Slash MNT slash movies one in my case. And then your username and password for the remote server. And then go across to OK. And with any luck, it will add it correctly. But, but if it doesn't, take the option to keep it, then press the letter C on your keyboard to open up the config menu. And you can go and edit the network location that way. OK, so I browse the new share, so I just press Enter on that. And I'm going to choose one specific folder here rather than importing the whole list because I've actually got quite a few movies on here. So yeah, so yeah choose the folder you're after. So name the media source. Uh, we're just going to call it uh, movies. And OK. So this directory contains, now this is the important part for actually allowing Kodi to scrape the media information from the files and add it to your library. So this directory contains movies. Enter. Choose information provider. So the default is the movie database. You can add additional scrapers to the list. So I'll just show you one here with, so if you go across to get more, and at the bottom of the list is one called universal movie scraper. So it'll install that add-on. And if I go into the settings, you'll see it's uh, using IMDB for the scraper. Although set names come from the moviedb.org. So anyway, I'm not changing anything there, so leave it as is. Go to OK. So content scanning options. Now this will vary depending on what media you're actually storing and how you're storing and how you're naming it. But for me, movies are not in separate folders, so no, I leave that on the left-hand side is no, disabled. Scan recursively, yes. And I don't want to exclude it, so OK. Yes, I would like to refresh all items within this path. And you can see on the naming there, I've actually got the file name and then in brackets, the year. It just helps Cody to identify the movie a little bit better. You can also use a .nfo file instead, just name it the same as the movie. But that's kind of a little bit outside the scope here. I'm just, I've gone for the simple option of giving it the movie name 
and the year. So if we go back now, press backspace, and you can see now under movies folder, I have quite a few movies. Well, <laughs> quite a few, five in this case, all very old. 1916 being the oldest movie that I have in my collection. So one last option I'm going to show you is if you go into settings and into media settings, go across to library and then down, you have an option here, update library on startup. So if you enable that, any new movies which get added to that folder will automatically get scraped in by Kodi when you open it up. That's how to add movies from a network file share into Kodi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.